In problem number one, we're supposed to sketch a graph of the equation by first identifying the y-intercept and the slope. This is written in slope-intercept form, which we know as y equals mx plus b, where the m value represents the slope and the b value represents the y-intercept. So looking at the rule, the y-intercept is going to be 4. That's the constant number that's getting added on. There's no x next to that number. The slope is going to be negative 2. That's the number that's next to the x. It's the coefficient of x. We can use that information to sketch our graph. The y-intercept is going to be a point that's on the y-axis at positive 4. And the slope tells us our rise over run. We can turn that into a fraction by just putting it over 1. And so that tells me that I'm actually going to go down 2 and over 1. And when I do that, I can graph more points and then connect the dots in order to create my graph. In problem two, we're supposed to identify the y-intercept, x-intercept, slope, and then sketch a graph. This time the equation is written in standard form, and the quickest way to find the y-intercept in standard form is knowing that the y-intercept is the y-value when x is zero. We can use the same idea with the x-intercept. It's the x-value when y is 0. And when identifying slope, we can just solve for y and then use our slope-intercept form in order to identify which number the slope is supposed to be. So let's find our y-intercept first by plugging in 0 for x. That gives us 3y is equal to negative 9. And if we divide both sides by 3, then that gives us a value of negative 3. So that's our y-intercept. For our x-intercept, we'll go back to our original equation, but this time plug in 0 for y. That gives us 6x is equal to negative 9. If we divide both sides by 6, then we end up with negative 9 divided by 6, which ends up simplifying to negative 1.5. So that's our x-intercept. Finally, for the slope, we're going to rewrite our rule and go ahead and solve for y. We'll subtract 6x from both sides and then divide both sides by 3. Um, when you do negative 9 divided by 3, it gives you negative 3. Negative 6 divided by 3 gives you negative 2. And so now we have it written in slope-intercept form. The coefficient of x gives us what our slope is supposed to be. In this case, the number that's in front of the x is negative 2. Now we can use all that information to graph, and we only need two points in order to sketch a graph of a linear equation. So we can use our y-intercept, point on the y-axis, and then our x-intercept, which is a point on the x-intercept, on the x-axis, uh, and then we can just connect those dots in order to create our graph. Uh, 